Okay. Well, um, according to Black Art in America, lack of documentation means that years from now, only a handful of Black artists will have material available for scholars and critics to review as they research particular art movements or the artistic production during this time in history. All right. Speaking to a person who curated some art exhibits, put together some shows, um, been a part of shows, promoted shows, um, created uh, booklets and all that kind of stuff for, for artists. Um, definitely, um, black artists don't get the same attention. That's that's duh, right? Obviously. Um, and I, I agree with um, the statement, right? Um, and I, I definitely see how blockchain, but not just blockchain, social media as well, right? This tech, I guess this is technology, but social, like before you wouldn't know an artist had, a, had an exhibit, a show, or did anything like in the culture, like far as the visual, we're talking specifically about visual artists. If it wasn't written down, right? So, like, say if you miss, say like these a lot of these shows, they're like picture a concert, like that's what a basically like um a uh, an art exhibit is like a a visual artist concert. If you don't go to the show, you, the show didn't happen, right? But in music, you have radio you got the actual copy of the cds right which would be like prints for um visual artists um which is more acceptable in the recordings part um then a bunch of other stuff music videos so many different means to, to get that content but for a visual artist it's just that exhibit right back in the day and then they're selling like that one of one piece it's a very exclusive club, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to uh, visual artists promoting, selling their thing. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hit some people up. Hit some people up. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold on, people. Here we go. This may be it. All right. All righty. Yeah. So, um, it's a very exclusive club, right? So, it's it's not it's it's not a lot of people, right? Far as like like a good art exhibit, depending on the gallery, it may be like a hundred to two hundred people. That's like a that's like a a, a banger. Like oh snap! <laughs> if, if you're a rapper, like that's not even a show. Like that's your entourage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, it's just a different platform different medium like like recording artists always have more like a bigger platform than than the visual artists um so like say like if you didn't have these these booklets these, these articles these write-ups later on in history like what did the person do like isn't that right so um sometimes they would have like these they'll print up these books and um at least you could look back and say oh that show was dope and this is what happened and he had a lot of documentation. Of course, if you don't get if you don't get the attention and the money, you're not getting that right. So you just look like you're not you wasn't really doing that. Now, you don't really need to even print catalogs. To be honest, you take a bunch of pictures with your phone and post them on social media. That's the catalog. Your Instagram, your Facebook. Oh, I seen the show. It was dope. It was like you you didn't go to the show. <laughs> like I seen it though. Like so. 
this technology, but then what, what blockchain is doing, um, it's allowing to see like the sales of the artists, uh, the artists get royalties. It's um the this the um this the, the technology is a different different level. And um, I was speaking to my cousin, shout out to Donald. Um, I was talking to him about book publishing. And um, I was telling him like they kind of like like the the literary publishing game. Let me see. Is it older than? Is it more slower than visual art? Mm, not to, no 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 no. I'm gonna say visual art maybe a little more slower than 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 publishing, only because of the technology like with Amazon and self publishing, like independence has a different speed than like the old traditional which is like white corporations who own everything doing it their way to kind of maintain their power and control of your art um i had a publishing deal a long time ago sat on the shelf for like two years two fuck i'm like yo these interviews are getting old but I, I gotta put this shit out you know they paid me a little bit of money and um <laughs> that money was going in two weeks, man. <laughs> Yo, oh man, you, oh man, that money was going in two weeks. I thought I was gonna um put out, put out like five books in the time that they put this book out. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought I was they just too slow. You know what I'm saying? Um. When it's independent, you could like it's just a different game, you know what I'm saying? So with the whole digital content, ebooks, you know, like now music, you got streaming, visual art, I don't know if they have a thing yet. You know what I'm saying? We have like the low cost. I think I think NFT, NFT, it, they they just got into the game. NFTs is like streaming for visual artists. Before that, we didn't have that. You see what I'm saying? Now you got this digital thing, you're able to make it actually valuable so before like, you just copy something it's like who cares about this this copy of a like it's a piece of digital it's, it's not the thing right but if you put a value to it where it's limited and then maybe it even that thing comes with a print i got a dope marcus jansen right there that's one of eight um i got some um shepherd fairies over there you can see, see those those are uh, I think one out of a hundred. I think those are like like a hundred. So imagine if that right there was an NFT, right? You get the physical poster, but not not a poster. That's disrespectful. That's a print, right? It's like on like a soft canvas paper. So it's pretty cool. And um, I think they call it like G clay or whatever. And but then you actually get like a digital kind of card barcode because basically how it used to be. You got the signature, you got a date, you got the number, you take it to a gallery, some old person looks at it with a magnifying glass and verifies it. <sighs> like, nah, you know, like, like that kind of, you know what I'm saying? So, so now that middleman has to take their cut, right? They got to verify it and, it's, and it has to be worth something to them and all oh, this blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Is like you don't put value on what we think is valuable. You know what I'm saying? So now with the NFTs, whatever you can sell it for is what it's worth. You know what I'm saying? You got a bunch of artists who come out of nowhere, and if, if, if people like it, they like it. That's it. Real simple. Real simple. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Royalties, authenticity, artists, artists. All right, this person asks, what can artists learn? Um, I, this era we in right now is literally the best time to create. You know what I'm saying? Um, we don't need a lot of stuff we needed before. You know what I'm saying? What's with the computer, the technology? Um, yeah, the, um, this is... I'm not gonna say that there's not no gate gatekeeping. There is, but 
technology make you go right around that gate. <laughs> that gate, <laughs> the gate is like four feet tall now. <laughs> you could jump over the gate yourself, or you could walk around that motherfucker. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's a great time, great time, great time to be an artist. Um, the chair. How long we been on here? About forty minutes. I gotta get ready. Gotta get ready for some stuff. Do we get one more? Sh- one more interview. Let me see. One more thing I want to talk about. Uh, 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 that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, subscribe to the channel. I'm actually working on a commercial for the channel. Um, got some dope footage of you know Russell Simmons and a lot of the artists I was working with, and um, about to start doing some interviews. So any artists out there, visual artists, recording artists, fashion designers, whatever, 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 um, holla at your boy. Um, let's talk. Let's let's um, let's help some other artists, um, emerging artists, you know, get up and do their thing and inspire a lot of people to create more. And um, that's what this channel is here for. Peace. Let's get out of here in this broadcast.